Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 29, Climbing the Ladder, our football manager, 20 journeyman. How many seasons in a row <laughs> is it going to go down to the last match? Uh, we've secured uh, our place in the Allsvenskan Alsk for next season, so we're not going down. But after our huge win over North Coping last episode, things turned ugly. Uh, Hammerby, as expected, beat us 4-2. to two. Uh, We got goals from uh, Albin Gunners and a penalty from Coco. Angle Holmes, we settled for a 1-1 draw. We took the lead in stoppage time in the first half. Gave up a goal halfway through the second half. Scoved, we lost 3-2. Uh, again, we went up early, gave up the equalizer, then fell behind, and we needed a late goal in the 88th minute from Carl Evans to even make it close. 2-1 loss to Malmo. Uh, <laughs> all the goals came late. Uh, we were down 2-0. Ollie Jacobson uh, got the late goal in the 89th minute. Sunsvall, 3-2. Uh, we were down 1-0. Evans got a goal. We gave up a penalty. They converted. We got a penalty back, and then they got a goal right before the first half ended. Uh, the second half was pretty non-eventful. 3-2 loss there. And we managed we managed to scratch a 1-0 win over Team TG Gel Selenius in the 61st minute with a goal. So today we're playing Elfsburg and Hammerby. Uh, so Elfsburg right in front of us in the table, uh, well, two places actually. So we have a game in hand. Oh, uh, we're one point behind or Arebro. Uh, so we really need this one because I don't think we're going to get anything out of Hammerby. This is the one we've got to get points from. And then who does Arebro finish up with? They finish up with Nor Coping. So they've got, well, Nor Coping's climbed back up to seventh in the table. Uh, you know, they were down in what 12th after we beat them, but they've climbed all the way back up to seventh. They could actually catch us. That's crazy. And they have a match in hand. Oh man. That would be ironic. Would it not? All right, well, let's get to it. We have had uh real quick, let's take a look at our medical center. We have had a lot of injuries. Luckily we've had some time off. But um, we've needed that. But we still had some severe injuries. Victor uh, suffered a damaged spine. Uh, that was in the Hammerby match. Uh, so he is out. Probably going to miss some of next season as well. We put a bid in on a right back uh, with that in mind. Coco dislocated his shoulder in training. And uh, he is going to miss another two months. And Glenn Hemingway was one of the guys we were thinking might fill in for Victor. And then uh, he suffered a sports hernia in training. And he's going to miss another three weeks from that. That happened uh, October 1st, so almost a month ago. So he, he was going to be out two months. Coco got hurt October 3rd, which was almost a month ago. So he was going to miss three months total. And Victor was uh, the hammer be on September 14th. That was a month and a half ago. So he was going to be out 10 months. So we've sent him to a specialist in hopes they can uh, get him back on his feet. And uh, Lindback just returned from a pulled groin. Tarpy with a pulled calf muscle. Jacobson a tight thigh. Tarpy another one of those back line players that we were hoping. So we lost, we lost quite a few guys and a lot of this happened in training. And you can see we've had a 57% de decrease in injuries over normal, but we're still fourth in the injury table. Uh, so that is what it is. Uh, match preview. We have yet to beat Elfsburg in six matches. Uh, I do want to look at another tactic. I'm, I'm thinking about using this one. Because we're missing the right backs, let's take a look at what our team would look like here. Roche, DuPont, not horrible. 
Gunners actually slots in, so we would have our two of our three best strikers. Gunners is our other striker that plays a lot. Gets him on the pitch. Thompson, that gives me an 11 passing, a 14 passing, and a 12 passing. I think I would rather that with gunners coming up the middle on attack we haven't I, I have not played this tactic at all this season so i'm going to dial this back a little bit we're not going to play let's close the lines a little bit all right we'll go with that uh victor's out hemingway's out Ulf Nilsson's out, Coco's out, a lot, a lot of injuries. Uh, the, the roster looks so big there because I do have the reserve squad included. Uh, but, it, you know, we've, we've still got quite a few players. All right, Paulson is back from injury, so he's back up top. We'll see how this goes. I have no idea. Encourage the team. I'm going to try to give them some green here because this is this is an important match. Probably not the point in time to be breaking out a new tactic. Oh, and Roche bruises an ankle already. Crossed over. Oh, uh, that's ugly. Shit. Uh, not even close. First goal of the season. Gotta, gotta love that. We're in the next to last game of the season. He gets his first goal. All right, well. Get creative. All right, DuPont. Paulson. Uh, he's taken down. He fights it off. Squared in. Evans takes a shot. He puts it in. That's his 11th of the season to equalize. And we get right back into this to draw even. Would love to get a win over these guys. I don't like having teams that we've never beaten. Show some passion. Fire them up a little bit. They've got a lot of space. Oh, our wing back on that side really. Oh, good header. Good clearance. Nice. Roche over the top. Gets taken away. Gunners is there. He brings it up. Lays it through. There's Paulson. Oh, I was hoping that would drift into the far post. Knocked just wide by the keeper. We do get a corner out of it. Gunners lines up to put it into the box. Oh, that's going to be a card, I'm sure, on Thompson, huh? No? All right, Roche's got a potential foot injury, but he's still doing okay. We'll probably sub him off early second half. He's hanging in there. A couple of yellow cards picked up. All things considered... Five shots, four on target. Got to be pretty happy with that. Carl Evans losing possession. That's that's troubling. Let's take a look at the tactic. Um, standard. You know what? We're gonna. I'm gonna switch this over to regroup. I'm thinking that's okay. All right. Let's head into the dressing room. I do appreciate the efforts. You two guys play it calm. And, you know, Roche's playing a 6-4, so we'll let him start because, no, no, I can go back to tactic here. I don't have, any, can, uh, do I have anybody that can play there? Uh, Lindback can play defensive left, not really a wing back, but he can cross. I think he could do the job. All right. Bailey is complacent. Uh, early passion. 
Uh oh, uh oh. Oh man, they tore us open right there. We had four guys right in the center and one guy beat four. That's that's brutal. I am contemplating. Oh, Costman. All right. Costman fumbled that one into the net. Yeah, I want to keep that. All right. Paulison is a center back, right back. Dieter is on a yellow. Paulison's not. So if we go there, Lindback, I'm going to switch him to a deep lying playmaker. He can play there. He's got the defense. I think he could do the job and he can pass. So I'm going to switch that. So who do I want? Do I have anybody that can even play over there? Nope. <laughs> I do not. Uh, oh, wait. Thompson. Now, all right. We're going to bring Larson in on the side over there. All right. I think just staying up this year is kind of an achievement to be near the, this near the top of the table. So... I'm not going to, but it would have been nice to, you know, it will be nice if we can get a win and get enough points to qualify for continental football, I guess. All right, Gunners, Carl Evans, Ollie Jacobson. Let's put him in there. 13,000 people at Elfsburg. Oh, nice tackle. Don't fart around with the ball. Jesus. All right, you know what? We're going to have to go. We're going to have to go attacking here and uh, push forward. All right, my right back is dead. We're not going to get a highlight. DuPont picks up an injury to his groin. So, boy, that backline injury, man. We are uh, uh, aggressive, nah, assertive, far from pleased. All right. I don't think we played horribly with the new tactic at the beginning. All right, that puts us two points back of Malmo, and they still have a game in hand. I'm going to say we're not going to qualify for European football, but we have secured our place for next year. It was crazy that, you know, even, you know, with three games left, even 13th could have gotten up to fifth. That's kind of crazy. Oh, boy. One to two days and one day. All right, well, we're back for Hammer being in uh, six days. We'll see you back here in just a second. Well, we are back for the finale against Hammerby. They have won the league. Uh, Malmo is the only game up for grabs, and look who it is. It is Nor Coping, who has jumped up to fifth with their recent fixtures, and we have dropped to seventh position. We were supposed to avoid relegation. We've done that. Why we're only at 63%, I don't know. And there, you know, I was an A-plus, but uh, recent losses uh, have have dropped that to a B. Uh, we were an A-minus for the club vision. Everything else was Bs and Cs. So it is what it is. All right, well, let's get to this. Get it over with. <laughs> I suppose. 
Uh, Suns Ball. Okay, that's not us. Yeah, because we've already secured that we'll be up next year. And that's all I'm worried about. And this is a good day for me to record this last episode uh, because, you know, then I have all day today and tomorrow to get through the off season, which takes forever. Uh, Jason Tarpey, uh, I am not going to re-sign him. He's only three star, so he's maxed out. He's not a bad player, but he's only appeared in six matches, so he's not even first option off the bench. He's making $88,500 a year, and, and he's English, so he's not homegrown. So when he's on the pitch... He's, you know, taking up one of those slots that we only have a very few of them to do. So we're going to let him go. Um, I think he's probably good enough that he could play for us and, you know, fill a role. But I think I can spend that money elsewhere and get more bang for the buck. Uh, let's see, Jacobson, DuPont, they're back, Roche's back, Lindback's back, Coco is not going to be back for the finale here. Uh, we are going to go, yeah, we're pretty heavy underdogs, and we have never come close. We've we've never even managed a draw. So we're going to go back to the 4-1-4-1. Uh, Bailey, Paulison, Dieter's going to move up into the defensive mid. Lindback, DuPont on the wings. Thompson, Strom's going to be out on the left. He's only gotten a little bit of game time, so uh, it'll be interesting to see him. Uh, he is on loan. Uh, so, yeah, we'll let him play. Evans and Gunners in the mid. Selenius. Uh, let's see. Pison, 8 and 16. Selenius, 5 and 16. Any reason we would not be playing him? He hasn't played well lately. That could have something to do with it. Uh, oh, you know what? What's uh? He's got a 12 work rate. He's only got a 5. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. And what about... This will be Philip Lindbaum's last match. He's actually leaving the team. Yeah, so we'll be freeing that up. We called this guy up from our reserve squad. He's 22. Left back, left wing. If we look for him, where's he at? Coco's injured. He's actually third, and he's even. You know what? Screw that. Let's play our guy out there. And then mid, center, mid, center, and right. Left defend. All right, we'll go with that. Lafiti. Might be his debut match, is it? Yeah, this will be his debut since we signed him. So that's good. All right, pressure's off. We lose nothing by losing today. We should probably we we should lose today. I'm just going to encourage him. Well, nice deep ball to Latifi. Lays it off. Lynn back. Ah, couldn't find the opening. Some nice ball movement. Oh, but we're cut open wide. Oh, my goodness. Headed over. He was wide open. That was a free header. Nobody marked him when he made that run. Of course, Hammerby, you know, I mentioned before, you know, I played them. Oh. First goal of the season. I, that That's the part that irks me is, okay, you're going to give somebody that's, that – couldn't score all year and you're gonna let him score against you that's fabulous only his first start <laughs> his first start of the year 
All right, demand more. Gunners is nervous. Hmm, that's strange. He usually uh, is not a nervous Nelly. Show some passion. Okay, we fired him up. There we go. Bailey, Peterson. Oh, look at the, yeah. Whew, thank goodness. That was close. I thought that left center back kept him on sides. I thought Paulson, Pallison kept him on sides. So we've only managed one shot. We are, I mean, they're playing. We're only down one to the league champions, right? So it could be worse. And it's going to get worse here in a second. DuPont with a push in the box. Oh, what a save. Uh, could have played it out wide. You know, you had time. You could have cleared it out for a throw-in. We like throw-ins much better than we like set pieces. Oh, a little stump. Hmm? He didn't get thrown out for that. All right. Demand more. Bailey's pressured. All right, DuPont. Let's switch you off with... Uh, Pallison, and then we'll bring Dieter into the middle, and then we will bring, um, let's bring Daniel England into that defensive mid slot. And you're playing a 6 2, so that's no good. We're going to bring Larson in on the other side. Understand it's not his standard position. All right, Thompson. Finds Larson, Gunners, Thompson, lays it off to Pallison. A deep run to Thompson. He crosses it. Uh, Selenius gets the ball knocked away. We're going to take the corner off of that, but that was a good run. All right, England takes, the, <laughs> takes a, a ping there. That was uh, optimistic. All right. Nope. We just can't seem to ever get good balls on the overlaps and whatnot. Yep, another another defensive header. Chested down. Sundin pings it over the goal. Still playing well. Hoop, they're overwhelmed. All right, Selenius, let's bring uh, Paulson on. That'll be our final sub. Do I want to do that, or do I want to replace? Actually, I'm going to undo that. Uh, Gunners for Jacobson. Gunners is looking, uh, he's, having, he's having a mad game, 6.2. Selenius is a 6.3, but to be fair. All right, let's show some passion down the stretch. A one nothing loss to Hammerby is not the worst. We do get outplayed. We do get dominated. Four chances to two. Uh, we do appreciate the efforts. I thought I thought we had a chance to finish in the top four there. We end up finishing eight points off the pace of Malmo. Those game in hands, man, those, those are weird how those pile up. I mean, we had teams with two or three games in hand, I believe. But, hey, you know, I think we did pretty good. Brahma Pajama gets uh, goes into the playoff for relegation. Halmia get relegated. Skov go back down. They were, they were new teams up. Who was the other team that came up this year? Sunsvall, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, let's see. Yeah, Latifi. Well, he won't make 10 league appearances uh, this year. 
We get $1.95 million for finishing in the top half. A fine run of results at the end of the season. Did you see the run that we had? The end of the season was horrific. I mean, if we could have gained points in half of those matches, we might have been in competition for something. But still, 1.95, that gets us back in the red, or in the black, out of the red. Yes, that's that's it. Uh, let's see. All right. Here's what I, one thing I do not know. So like we have transfer budget left. We have 150, 100, 150,000 in payroll. What I thought I re heard somebody mention once that you have to, you should use one of these up completely or they basically just take it away the next year. Uh, is that the transfer budget? Should I move that into the payroll budget um maybe i'll just do that just in case just in case right it can't hurt but if i have it left and they take it away next year then that does hurt me so let me know if that's true or not let me know you know give me your opinion on how that works cuz i don't know the answer Let's come right back for the uh, end of season awards. Once I get to that, uh, we do have to go through the playoffs, but I don't know if we have to wait for that. Yeah, we do. All right, so I'll be right back with uh, awards. All right, we are back. So let's take a quick look. Best 11 of this season. Uh, Karsten Bash has entered the overall best 11. So that's good. Of course, he's moved on this season. 60 appearances and five goals. Uh, so let's see, we've got Berg. I don't remember him. Hemingway, uh, who's leaving this year. Badge, who we moved. Hallen, who we have moved off of. Lundgren, Berglund, Balter, Savard, Thony, Valdeen, and Lindbaum. Well, none of those guys play for us very much anymore, if at all. So uh, let's see. Balter is at Goot. Savard is at Udavala. Lindell is for Scott Burns. Eight members are retired. Lindbaum's the only one still at the club, and he will be leaving. All right, end of season awards. Carl Evans, not, not a majority, but 49%. Albin Gunners with 23%. Goal of the season goes to Albin Gunners. He's also the signing of the season. We paid a whopping $185,000 for him. And the young player of the season, Carl Evans, is only 22 years old. We finished seventh. We won in the second round of the Cup. We were actually first in the table, second for quite a bit of the early half of the season. And then we had that long run in fourth position before tailing off. 73% capacity. Uh, so, and wow, usually I'm always first by a shot, uh, in number of players used. So, all right, we're getting a little bit better at that. Uh, no, no injury update. All right. Preseason date. I'll deal with that in the meeting. Let's take a look at the vision. All right, so for the end of next year, uh, work within the payroll budget is is in progress. Avoid relegation. Uh, end of contract next year. So basically, they just want us to remain in the league moving forward. No discussion of demanding that we finish in the playoff or in the top four. So that's good. Um, if we take a look at the Alvin Scan, they are the number 18th league in in Europe, right behind the Arita VC uh, in in the Netherlands, uh, which is a place I don't mind. I wouldn't mind playing. I like Dutch uh, Dutch football. Uh, right above the Championship in England. So if I got a job back in England in the Championship, that m it might be worth a step back. I don't think I would take a step back to Norway, even though it's probably very close. This is all very close. But if we go there, and who's really up here? I yeah, don't really want to go to Russia. 
Okay, not sure why we did that. Oh, you know why? Those are not playable leagues. All right, Austria, Belgium, Jupiler, no, they're not in the playing mix. There we go. All right, so, yeah, really we've got to move up into, you know, Portugal, Scotland, and then top-level clubs. So I'm really not sure what to, what to expect here. Uh, if we take a look at my profile, I'm just not gaining any reputation. Even when we won, when we won Division One, I, I didn't gain, and I've questioned whether age has something to do with it. I don't know. It could be that I'm only at 39% winning. I mean, I'm staying up and I'm not really getting relegated a lot, but I'm not, you know, I've won, I've won more than I've lost. So, you know, it's that probably has a lot to do with it. I'm spineless, obviously, and none of my skills are going up. And I think a lot of that is due to that, that I defer to my staff for a lot of that stuff. But, um, so I don't know that there's going to be a job that we can go to. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, job security here. So, I mean, yeah, these clubs, we don't have a shot. Austria has, uh, the sky go, but that's a drop all the way to 37. I don't think that's worth it. I mean, even league one, I mean, you know, we're above the championship, right? And we're not the Scottish Championship. I mean, see, that's all the way back at 49th behind League One in England. There's no shot of me getting a championship job. There's just not. And I don't know that there's anywhere else for us to go. So, um... I think what I'm going to do, because I know there's a handful of you guys that watch this. I think I'm going to do a short video right after this, and I'm going to go ahead and put it up today on do I, do I create a new manager? Don't like to do that, but you have to remember, when I started this, I went. I moved ahead because look at the year. We're in 2060. Okay, I went ahead 30 years. Well, I'll talk about that in the other video. So no sense stretching this out. But my cons my wonder is, do I go ahead and Carl Scrona may be the last club that we're at. I mean, I don't know that I'll ever get any better. So we we may just keep playing. I mean, we're we're not even into March yet. I may not get another job. <laughs> So do we, you know, again, I'm, I'm wanting to go into the other videos. So, all right, guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, or if you haven't subscribed before, much appreciated. Check out the uh, other video that's going to go up on, that went up Saturday, because this won't go up till Tuesday, I believe. But that way I can make decisions and figure out what to do. Appreciate you following along. And we'll see where this goes. Have a good one. Bye.